everyone know what their dominant eye is? Who doesn't know what their dominant eye is? Okay. So this is how we're going to do it. Everyone can focus on me. What you're going to do is make a small hole like that with your hands. And you're going to put that on my head. Right, so focus on my face. Now bring that hand back to your dominant eye without losing focus. Whatever hand or whatever eye your hand came back to, that's your dominant eye. If your eye is the opposite side, here's one way to fix that. So for me, I'm right handed, left eye dominant. So if I draw out like this, my right side is in line with my right eye, right? So if I were to be squared up like that and get my side alignment, I wouldn't be able to focus or see the sights straight through. So all I'm gonna do is turn my head like two inches to the left, or excuse me, two inches to the right, and that's gonna put my left eye now in line with my sights without having to move my stance. Does that make sense? So if you're left-handed and right eye dominant, I would move two inches to the left, which will put my right eye in line with my target. If I'm right-handed, left eye dominant, two inches to the right puts my light eye, or left eye straight down the line with that sight, right? And if you're right-handed, right eye dominant, or left-handed, left eye dominant, you just have it easy. This is my front sight. This is my rear sight. Equal height atop the cross, equal height across the top, excuse me, and equal light on the left side of that front sight post and the right side of that front sight post. Right? I don't want it canted to where it's like that because now I'm not straight down the alignment. I don't want it to the right either because I'm going to be off as well. I want equal height across the top and equal light the left and the right side of that front sight post. If I have that and you have that high firm grip and you slowly squeeze and pull that trigger, wherever you put that uh, side alignment with the sight picture, that's where your shot's going to go. Right? We're not jerking that trigger. We're keeping that front side alignment. Once you get that shot off, you might be up a little bit. Or you might be off a little bit. Fix that correction. So we have to get equal height and equal light. Does that make sense? Yeah. And don't get too focused on what's on the sights. Like his has, you know, dots. Some of y'all have this U in the, in the back and whatnot. That doesn't so much matter. Ignore the fact that there's white on there. It's the actual physical stature of the sight itself, not so much what's painted on it. Because some of them, again, I got my wife's gun, it's got a blacked out rear, and it's got a, it's got a red fiber optic in the front. None of that really matters. It's always gonna be, what matters, and it's consistent through all the sights, is the actual form of the rear sight notch and that front sight post. Right. All right? So don't get too focused on that white. So today for our target, we've actually put it that, excuse me, put that on our target, right? So you can see there's an X right here but we can only see half that X, right? So you'll, wherever your target is, you wanna see the top half, um, depending on the range, um, but that's where you want your alignment. So when you get your alignment, you want it to match up what's on that target. So we went ahead and put that on the target to make it more knowledgeable so when you focus on here, you want that front side alignment to be exactly right here and you're gonna hit that uh, center mass. Yep, you're gonna line your sights up to each other, just as you see here and just as he explained, and then you're gonna line that up to no shit exactly where these are. It's literally draw, you, know, you ever had a uh, coloring book and you draw them between the lines? You line up the, the shit and you draw them between the lines. You line those up to your sights that we have put on that target. Now, if you do that, you're gonna hit, right? And you're hit center. 